you just updated to Mac OS 26 Tahoe or got yourself a brand new Mac? Congrats. But before you dive into the liquid glass animations and the redesigned finder, hold on. There are at least 10 settings you need to turn off right away if you want your system to stop acting up, run smoother, and save battery. Let's go. In Mac OS 26, Spotlight became that friend who knows way too much about you. You search for a document, and it throws you a cookie recipe from 2019 notes, a couple of anxiety articles, and that photo of you in pajamas from four years ago. Okay, thanks. Now I've found nothing useful, and my anxiety's up. To fix this, System Settings, Siri and Spotlight, uncheck Mail, Safari, Messages, and Documents. It's better if Spotlight searches simply, not philosophically. MacBook sees every speaker nearby and goes, want to play this on your neighbor's TV? No, Apple. I'm just watching cat videos, not hosting a concert. And the battery drains like it's on a TikTok binge. Fix it here. System settings, general, airdrop and handoff. Airplay receiver, set to off. If I want to stream, I'll let you know. Please stop being so eager. Dynamic wallpapers at 120 hertz, a celebration that lasts about an hour. Liquid glass looks stunning until it starts melting your battery. Mountains shimmer, lakes ripple, clouds breathe in the background. Meanwhile, you're sitting at 8% battery wondering, do I really need a cinematic experience right now? Go to Wallpapers, choose a static image or picture of the day. Let the wallpaper be beautiful, not a movie theater. Siri and dictation, are you sure you're not working for surveillance? Siri is everywhere now. It quietly listens, quietly analyzes, and at some point you start thinking, what if I accidentally said pizza and now I'll get delivery ads for three days? If you're not saying, hey Siri, you probably don't need it at all. So go to System Settings, Siri, turn off, listen for hey Siri and all suggestions. Stop spying, I just wanted to sit and write in notes. Every other website immediately asks, would you like to receive notifications? No, I came to read an article, not sign up for your spam. Safari feels like a pushy salesperson now. One visit and here comes the pitch. Open, Safari, settings, websites, notifications, disable new requests. Browsing the web just became peaceful again. Auto-launching apps. Who invited you? You turn on your Mac, and it's like launching Zoom, Spotify, Teams, WhatsApp, Telegram, and Calculator. All you wanted was to grab a coffee. Breathe, system settings, general, login items. Keep only what you actually need. The rest can wait their turn. Analytics, not today, Apple you probably don't want every single click you make to become part of Apple's statistics, especially when they don't even say thank you. Go to System Settings, Privacy, Analytics, Turn Everything Off. Choosing not to be a test subject is still a valid choice. Natural scrolling. No, it's anything but natural. Mac OS calls it natural scrolling, but if you came from Windows, it feels like the world turned upside down. You scroll down and the page stubbornly moves up. Turn it off here. System settings, trackpad, scroll and zoom, turn off natural scrolling. Thanks, but when I scroll down, I want it to actually go down. Safari opens old tabs, but what if I've changed? Every time you launch Safari, it's like a reunion with your past. It pulls up the same tabs you had open a week ago, but you're a different person now. Change it here. Safari, settings, general, New windows open with homepage. Start fresh, not with tab 5 of last week's Reddit spiral. Recent apps in the dock, I didn't ask for reminders. Everything you open instantly sticks to the right side of the dock. Even calculator, even that accidental launch of chess. Turn it off. System settings, desktop and dock, recent applications, off. Thanks, but I'll decide what matters. No digital surveillance needed. And that's it. 
10 settings you should probably turn off right after setting up macOS 26 Tahoe. Less battery drain, fewer distractions, and a Mac that actually listens to you. What's the first thing you always change on a new Mac? Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.